Welcome to the heart of Scania Research and Development Center here in Södertälje, Sweden. This is where our new engine and this, the brand new gearbox, was designed. Here at Scania Research and Development, we always work at the technological forefront. But this, the first version of Scania's new gearbox range, is probably the one thing I'm most proud to have been involved in achieving. Or well, what do you say? Yeah, I agree. This technical masterpiece beats everything on the market. It's strong, it's light, it's quiet, and it significantly reduces the fuel consumption for the customers. So, let's dig into the details. Okay. One of the key features of the new gearbox is the variable oil system. It allows us to cut the losses with more than 50%. So, let's have a deeper look. When you activate a valve, you fill up this tank in the top of the housing with the gearbox oil lowering the level in the gearbox and allowing the gears to spin more freely when less power is used from the engine. By turning the valve off again, the oil quickly pours back into to the gearbox, increasing the cooling when the power is increased again. All right, and this spray pipe we have always sprays oil on the gears, assuring that we always have enough oil for lubrication and cooling in all driving situations. And together with the low viscosity oil and the improved gear shape, uh, this allows us to cut the gearbox losses in half. To achieve this low rev velocity by using faster rear axle ratios to lower the engine speed and thereby the fuel consumption, but without sacrificing the startability, we have designed the gearbox with a large total spread. Okay. And to be able to perform a gentle start with a heavy load in a steep hill, we have designed the crawler gear with a very slow gear ratio. And what about the cruising gears? We have equipped the gearbox with two cruising gears, one direct drive gear and one overdrive gear. And based on the current driving situations, the gearbox management system is able to calculate what's the most efficient driving gear for the moment. But what about the one of the most important gear, the reverse gears? Then we must head over to the planter gear. One thing that really makes Scania stand out from the competitors is the way we have integrated the reverse function in our planetary gear. Mm -hmm. So the idea of integrating the reverse function in the planetary gear of the range section not only allows us to remove the reverse gear row from the normal gearbox, okay. making the complete gearbox shorter, despite widening all of the gears uh, to increase the torque capacity, but it also allows us to reuse all of the forward gears also in reverse. And they can all be shifted just like when you're driving forward. So it's possible to perform a gentle start with the lowest reverse gear engaged. And then when you have reached your desired reversing speed, the engine can be kept at low speed. Mm -hmm. And this is very good because you're taking care of your clutch, but also it gives benefits because of lower fuel consumption and a lower noise level around the truck. Wow, that sounds like a really cool feature. And it sounds like it's perfect for, a, for example, a tow truck that quickly needs to reverse to the site of an accident on a narrow road. And for a construction truck that can both lower the fuel consumption and the noise impact on the work site. Which single improvement do you think is the most prominent feature for the driving experience? Well, Besides the eight reverse gears, I would like to say the new gear shift system where we have removed the synchronizers in the main and range parts of the gearbox. Mm -hmm. And this is a unique Scania feature giving the possibility for the gearbox management system to choose the optimal gear shift performance for each driving situation. And how does that affect the driver? You can, for example, use the crawler gear to start a heavy loaded vehicle in a steep hill to minimize the clutch wear letting the driver to get up the hill as quick as possible. But also for a driver who is mostly driving on highways, where the gear shifts is not as time critical, will draw benefits of the variable shift performance, since the gearbox then instead is able to perform silky smooth shifts. All right, however, uh, the greatest benefits of the new gearboxes is when we combine the engine, the gearbox and the rear axle ratios in the right way to provide increased startability and significant fuel savings for the customer. 